here with another video. I'm going to cook some uh, breaded, not breaded, some skinless chicken breast and some salmon fillets. Um, I'm going to show you my uh, seasoning lineup real quick just to kind of start off with what we got here. I got some ground pepper. I got some kicking chicken seasoning from Weber. Pretty good stuff for the chicken. Also I got some uh, garlic. It's actually garlic sea salt. I have uh, some magic salmon seasoning. Should be pretty good for the fish. Uh, a little Cajun seasoning for the fish. Some paprika for the fish as well. Uh, some lemon pepper I like to put on fish. Some garlic powder. I even got some Himalaya uh, salt, Himalaya pink salt. I don't know if I use that or not, but I have it. Um, for the side stuff, I have some chopped up potatoes. Also, I got some red, green bell peppers, some onions, some zucchini that I sliced up. So I'm going to cook that as well. Uh, also got some mixed garlic to throw in there with it. And some sliced mushrooms I'm going to throw in there as well. So uh, I'm going to start off with the vegetables and the potatoes. They take a little bit longer than some of this here. So I'll start off putting down some vegetable oil. Put it right here. Spread right, it around a little bit. I'm going to put all this stuff together. It'll cook fine. I'm going to put this uh, potatoes on there. And then I'm going to also put all my vegetables together. They'll cook just fine together. Blackstone is good and hot. I can hear it sizzling already. Okay. Get that on there like that. Now I'm going to season a little bit. Some of the stuff I got here I have, uh, matter of fact, I have some cookies, flavor enhancer. I like to put this on some of this vegetable stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, a little bit goes a long ways. I'm going to use a little end. Just throw some on there like this. Get these veggies cooked and sauteed down real good, nice and soft. Let me go get with these two dishes. I like the salmon, and my daughter Olivia, she also loves the salmon. And then my other daughter, Abigail, and Lacey, the wife-to-be, loves the breaded, well, not the breaded, I keep saying breaded, but the uh, chicken breast. So, go ahead and mix this up a little bit. Let's get the Got the seasoning on there. Mix it up so it cooks even, the best I can. That seasoning's got a little bit of salt flavor, so I don't even add salt to that. I'm trying to kind of not put as much salt. I do have the sea salt. I'm going to throw some on after that. Uh, let this cook down for a while. Okay. I'm going to throw a little bit of this minced garlic on there too. I love this some minced garlic. I don't know if fit, but I'll just do this. Got plenty of vegetables, so put it on there pretty good. Okay, plenty of that. So I did a video earlier today for my breakfast, uh, my breakfast sandwiches and had some troubles with it downloading. So I wasn't able to put that on here yet. It was actually my very first video I ever did other than the seasoning of the griddle. Um, kind of bummed I want to get that on there. It's a pretty good video. I'm hoping this one goes a little better. Maybe I can get things to work better with this one. Um, so I'm going to try to get better at using that. I use a GoPro and then I download it to an iPad and 
trying to do some editing and stuff, which is not really my thing. Um, I'm glad I got some youngsters that are way better with uh, computers than I am. So I'm going to start with that. So, okay, right, I'm going to start to put this chicken on next. Chicken will take a little bit to cook. The salmon, it goes actually fairly well, fairly fast. So that on. It's okay, I put some more uh, vegetable oil on there. And then I'm going to take my chicken. I'm going to season it with the chicken chicken flavoring that I got from Weber. I'm going to season this side of it before I put it on. And I'm going to set them, set them on there. Get these a going. I didn't uh, slice these off so good. They were really thick breasts. So I tried to slice them in half so they weren't so thick. Kind of get more out of it that way, I guess. You put them on there like that. Season the other side. Chicken, chicken. Like so. Maybe a little bit of my garlic sea salt for that. Okay. Maybe a dash of pepper. Not too much pepper. Right, so. Okay. Got the chicken cooking. Got the vegetables going. So far, so good. Everything's cooking nice. Yes, I am in my pork. It's like negative five degrees outside. So I got the door cracked open with a fan. A little bit of ventilation, so I can handle it. It's perfectly safe, I promise. So there's that. Stir that up a little bit. Keep them going. They're coming along pretty good. Okay, so while that's cooking, I. Uh, I think I'll grab the mushrooms. I'll throw some of them in there as well. I almost forgot the mushrooms. I'll be in trouble if I forget the mushrooms. She loves them. I'm only going to go about half this container of mushrooms. That'll be funny. Alright, I'm going to put it on there. We go big. That's why Jimmy eats. So we're going to eat. Put it in there. Better mix it back up, get them cooking good. Alright, there it goes. Very good. Alright, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, like my first or second video so I don't have a lot of subscribers feel free to hit the subscribe button maybe hit the little bell so you can see when I do some more drop me a comment give me some tips give me some ideas um, I'm up for anything like that uh, also hit that like button the like button is always cool if you don't want to talk a lot I understand you don't know me I don't know you it's all good um, the more the more people I get watching me, though, the better I feel. So, uh, it's an option. I do a lot of cooking, so I'm, I'm probably going to hopefully get to make a video quite often here. I really like this black stone. It's been one one for a long time. It's pretty awesome stuff. So, uh, I'm going to take a little break, let this cook for a minute. And when I get back, I'll put the salmon on, and we'll, we'll do some more from there. As I'm back, uh, didn't really do much, just stirred this up a little bit. Um, getting ready to flip this again, make sure this chicken's cooked all the way through. I kind of needed to get cooked all the way through. Chicken's not healthy and I have cooked all the way through, so I'm going to get it up to about 165-ish degrees, um, 170. I don't have a, a deal to check it right now. I'll just slice a little bit of it, make sure it's cooked all the way through so we're safe. My kids don't get sick. Now the salmon, I can go a little bit raw. I don't really go raw, but it's not as a big deal. So I usually go about, I don't know, 130, 140. 
on that. That'll be quick enough. So let's stir this up some more. Keep that stuff cooking. Keep it moving. I did try a little a little bite of the peppers and it's fucking tasting really good. So this is coming along well. Alright, I'm gonna give these another cut. Oh yeah, that looks good. Good. Oh, get back here. I actually got a uh, little pan cover. Just an old pan lid that I don't use the pan anymore, so I kept it. I'll stick that on there, kind of get it cooking better. Let's stir this up some more. Got a lot of vegetables here, though. A lot of potatoes, a lot of vegetables. Okay. We like to eat. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oil on this and get my fish on there, get that going. Pretty good amount of oil. I don't want nothing sticking. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to season this a little bit. I'm going to use, i got a lot of stuff to put on this. I have my magic salmon seasoning. It's got Dom DeLuise on it. I don't know if that's good or bad, but put some of this on there. Put a little bit of Cajun seasoning. I like a little bit of kit. My daughter don't like so much kit, so I'll leave some off of hers. A little bit won't hurt. Some lemon pepper. Got to have lemon pepper. And of course some paprika. Like paprika on paprika on my fish. Okay. I got them seasoned up. I'm gonna put this down skin side down. And then I'll flip them after a while. And then after I do that, I will peel the skin off. Comes right off after you get it good and hot. Uh, I don't eat the skin, so. I was peel it off. Okay, so we got this going. I'm going to kick this over on this side. Move this chicken a little bit. Flip it again. About like so. Getting a good crust on the top of that chicken. Looks really good. Smells good. I always cover the fish because it's cooked better that way. Yeah, she's sticky on her. Alright, I'm going to kick it up a notch on this here vegetable that I got. I'm going to put a splash of red wine vinegar. It'll be really good that way. I'm not overdoing it. Uh, I just like that one taste. Give it a little kick. I think it would be really good. Hopefully she likes it. The kids like it. Shouldn't be too bad. vegetables are looking really tasty. Okay. We'll grab a big bowl to put my veggies in here in a minute. The one I got ain't big enough.
Okay, I'm back. Back with a big bowl. Also, what I'm going to do, set this down here out of the way. I'm going to flip this fish. I got the bottom getting hot. Flip this side, cook a minute. Like so. That's going to be good stuff right there. Cook these again. We got a few minutes on that side with the fish. This fish actually cooks really quick. I'd say another two, three, four minutes tops and it'll be ready to come off. I actually think I can pull off this skin. Maybe not quite. Yep, I can. I just do it like so. Comes right off. Bang, there it goes. Not as good as I hope, but there we go. Yeah, it's not. Come off real easy on this one, but it will come off. I promise. More. There we go. All right, I'm going to flip this back over and get this side a little bit more. Look at that crust on there. That looks beautiful. Like I said, this salmon does not take long to cook. Really good. Stir this a little bit more. Alright, now I am going to add some lime. I like the lime, I don't know why, but I like the juice on there. Really good. Alright, so I'm going to let that cook a little bit. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to take a small little break and get some more things cleaned up. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I'm ready to build this, this together. Put it on a plate. I think this is all ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to take my first plate here. I'll put some vegetables on it. One, one scoop of that. I'll go with uh, a couple of these little guys. Should be happy with that. Chicken, vegetables on the black zone. Looks amazing. Can't wait to take a little taste of that. Although that ain't mine. <laughs> Still gonna taste it though. Now, for the salmon side, put this on. Yeah, it's so not all mine, but I'm putting it on one plate. Scoop of the good stuff. Might even go with another one. Yeah, I like it. All right, and here we got some salmon with fried vegetables, zucchini, onions, peppers, green and red, squash, mushrooms. Looks good. Can't wait to take a bite. Um, pretty easy stuff to make. 
been doing this cooking thing for a long time, so it comes easy for me. This black stone is really, really fun to use. Oh, it's really easy to use. You can cook about anything you want on it. Just gotta practice a little bit. So I'm gonna pick up these leftovers and put them in this bowl that I got. grab a fork and do a little taste test see how she looks I'll be back in just one second all right I'm back I'm gonna try this salmon since this is my dish Let's see how this looks, how it flakes off here. It's going to be so amazing. Wow, look at that. If you can see that good, look at how beautiful that is in there. Take a little taste. Good flavor. I can taste all them spices, all that stuff I put in there. Really good. A little bit of lime juice on top gives it a little bit of good little zest. I'm going to try these vegetables with all the other ingredients I put in. It's hot. You can see it smoking. Oh yeah. That's good. Absolutely amazing. Now, I know this isn't really what I cook for me, but i got to give it a test, head, test taste. This is some of that chicken. Off a chunk of that. Make sure everybody's happy. It's cooked all the way through. It looks nice. Not kicking chicken. It's got good flavor. Mm -hmm. Of course, a bite of potatoes and everything. Oh, yeah. Look, this is easy stuff, man. Gotta love this cooking stuff. I think I cooked all this in about, what, 15, 20 minutes at most? It don't take long. Sure, sure, cuts down the time of cooking on your stove. You can put a lot of stuff on these on these black stone griddles. Cook it all at the same time. I love it. All right, so please give me a like, give me a, uh, a subscribe, hit the bell, give me some tips, give me some some info. Of what you think of this video? Hopefully, you all like it. Um, I'm gonna get better at making videos. Just like I said, I've only done a couple. So I'm new with this. By all means, uh, comment. We'll see what you got to say. Um, this is a, another episode of Jimmy Eats, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to eat. Have a good day. Thank you.